In the previous video, we looked at the rationale behind the multi plier process. So in this video, we'll look at how we calculate this multi plier. In the next video, we will explain why we use the following formula to calculate the multiplier. So multiplier is the multiplier by which an initial change in spending will alter the total expenditure of all spending cycles. So in a, a previous video, we understand if investment decreases and it will cause the economy to go to the bad cycle, but we didn't know at the end how much uh, in terms of GDP will decrease. By understanding the multiplier, we'll be able to use quantitative method to measure how much GDP will decrease if the economy goes down by the initial you know, investment decrease. So multiplier itself is calculated by one minus uh, one divided by one minus MPC. So the MPC we learn in the chapter nine. That is a marginal propensity to the consumption. That means if you spend one dollar, one if your disposable income is hundred dollars, and you're supposed to spend MPC multiplied by um disposable income amount of the money to the consumption. So for instance, if the marginal propensity cons to consumption is seventy five percent. So the multiplier will be equal to one divided by one minus uh, minus seventy five percent, and you will end up four as your multiplier. So the impact of an initial spending change will be multiplied by a factor of four. So that is how much by how much time your end of at ending of the cycle, how much you will lose in the G in terms of GDP. So the multiplier is governed by the size of the marginal propensity to the consumption. So if marginal propensity to the consumption decreases, then the multiplier will get smaller. How this goes? So let's look at the, the multiplier formula again. So the multiplier formula equal to one divided by one minus MPC. So the marginal propensity decrease. So you will find the whole denominator actually will increase. So if the denominator of the ratio increase, actually the whole ratio you will find actually means decrease. So if your marginal propensity consumption decrease, then your multiplier will get smaller. So let's look at the intuition behind it. So if uh, people will spend a smaller portion of the disposable income in consumption, and when their disposable income decreases, actually it will have less impact on the consumption. If it will have less consum impact on the consumption, actually it will have less impact on the product market, and which will have less impact on the business. And then you will see this whole business cycle will have less impact. So that's why when the MPC decreases, it will actually have relatively smaller um, multipliers. So on the opposite side, if MPC increase, so let's look at this formula again. So if MPC increase, so this whole denominator actually will decrease. So this whole denominator decrease, the whole ratio actually will increase. So mathematically saying, if MPC increase, and will end up the multiple plier will get larger as well. So now let's do some practice together how we calculate a multiplier. So let's see the formula multiplier we already know is equal to one divided by one minus MPC. So calculate the multiplier associated with the, this MPC. So I give you uh, 30 seconds. So did you get 10? So we plug in MPC 90% to the formula. So we will have 1 divided by 1 minus 90% and we will get 10. So one more practice. So if the multiplier associated with the MPC is 80%, Yes, you will get five. So the one more, the last one. So when the multiply MPC is equal to sixty percent, how about multiplier?
exactly you got 2.5. So you can see from the first example, from 90% to the last one, 60%. So the MPC is keep decreasing. And also at the same time, what we found is the multiply is decreased from 10 to 2.5. So that's what we already uh, discussed, is MPC decrease, your multiplier will decrease too, so vice versa.